Hey guys and gals, this is George Adventure here, uh, outside, back here in the woods, back here in my little, my little, uh, area back here, uh, you can see, uh, got some woods behind the house, have a lot of deer and stuff back here, uh, but just enjoy being back here, this is where I do a lot of carving, uh, got my little fire pit. Actually, my solo stove will go right there. I usually put my solo stove there, and then you know we'll sit out by the fire. Uh, sitting here in the swing, and I built a swing a few years ago. Sorry about the camera moving around like that, but uh, so today, today I want to do, I want to do a uh, video. Sorry, I just seen what that dog was doing back there. So. Uh, want to want to discuss axes or hatchets or whatever. So, uh, I uh, I have I carve wooden spoons and different things like that, and I've got an axe I use, Granford and Brooks. I got a I got that one. I got uh, I've got an old Boy Scout axe that I've had for years and years. I got them inside, but uh, I've got two uh, that. Uh, refurbished sometimes I'll I'll look around on eBay and I'll just get a hatchet head or an axe head or an axe one of them that's real old or, or needs refurbishing and then I'll spend some time on it uh, so you know you get on there and look and you can find them but an axe axe is bigger uh, axe is bigger but but I'm gonna I guess discuss what people what we call hatchets uh, and this is a hatchet Pretty small one here. Uh, this is a Collins. I got it off eBay uh, back last year, and uh, it was in bad shape. Uh, so I took it uh, and just uh, sanded the handle down. It had to, you know, the handle. The handle's still good. The handle's pretty, but I sanded it down. Uh, put some linseed oil on it, and I just took and cleaned the head of it up, and then I put it on the belt and put a very sharp edge this thing's got this thing's got uh, uh, very it's got good steel but it's got a heck of an edge on it uh, and it's ready you know it's ready uh, it's ready to, to use uh, but like I said an axe is a is a great tool uh, you know you can carry them you know like I've got I've got one in my camper that I use. I've got an axe, a big axe that I use to split wood. I carry it camping. I've got a box on the back of my truck that's got got an axe, a machete, a shovel, a little small shovel, some kindling wood, stuff like that. A little stove, a little salt, small solo stove. So, but this one of these should be a part of your kit. Uh, you know, if you if you carry a little kit in your truck, you know, or in your camper this should be one of these should be a part of your kit uh, some people even use them I've seen people use them to skin skin game with and this one is probably sharp enough it's very sharp uh, but I also put a put that that back in there because it was it was uh, actually took the handle out so I put another shim in there uh, so that helped and it's it's on there now i ordered i ordered some from uh i think i got them off of ebay no i got them off amazon ordered a pack of shims uh so put that put that in there uh but you can see this is a this is a collins you can see you can see the writing right there uh this is really a pretty axe it's also got the nail notch in it which, you know, I don't know if you'd ever use, but, uh, you know, handy thing to carry camping with you. And you can take this and you can, you can split wood, small pieces of wood. Uh, you know, you can process wood with it. Uh, you can baton with it. You can put it get, and get you a piece of wood and hit it and split your, split your, uh, uh, split your, uh, let me move this. Sorry about that. Move it down. Split your, uh, 
uh, split your uh, uh, firewood, you know, make kindling out of it to start a fire. Uh, like I said this is a good size, got a lanyard in it. You know, I put the lanyard in it. I actually drilled this hole. It didn't have a hole in it, so I drilled this hole, stuck that stuck that hole in there, and put that lanyard in it. Uh, but uh, just a just a handy tool to have. I mean, have one around the house. Everybody should have one. Uh, great handle, hickory handle. Uh, but I use them. Uh, I use them a lot. I use it to carve with. I carve, like I said, I carve spoons. So I use them. I use them to, to sorry about that. I use them to carve with. Uh, and uh, things like that, carve spoons to, to, to process the wood on down, the blank on down to get it, you know, pretty close to where you use, or get it down to where you can use a carving knife. Uh, so. So I got this other one here, and I actually put a brand new handle on this one. Uh, this one, this one's a little bigger. You can see it; it's a little bigger. This one, this one's heavier. The head on this one's heavier. This one's, this one's lighter. Uh, I would prefer to carry this one in my pack instead of this one. This one would be good for your truck, and you can see a little bit of difference in the and the blade and the head of it uh you know and i'm not an expert on axes or hatchets so you know i can see the difference this this head is a little thicker than this one you can see but this one came off ebay too the handle's longer you can actually choke up pretty good on this one but this one's sharp you can see the edge on it it's uh pretty doggone sharp it'll 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 do some good work. Another one good for processing wood. Uh, you can get two hands on it. Uh, you know, and if you if you use an axe or a hatchet, wear gloves. Put you some gloves on. Now, yeah, it ain't gonna keep from cutting your finger off, but and when you use one, you know, spread your legs out a little bit or turn sideways, and don't don't cut, don't swing towards your leg or your knee or anything like that or or a person. You know, because if you if you hit yourself in the right place where your femoral artery or your arm, you know, if you hit yourself in here and you put a bad enough wound, you're you know, especially around your femoral artery, you can bleed to death in three minutes. So, uh, of course, after twenty or thirty seconds, you're you're going to start getting so weak, you know, you might not even be able to get a tourniquet on. So, be safe with these things. Uh, wear you some gloves. Be careful. Uh, and I don't know where this one was made. You can see the end of this one. I've got a piece of paracord I put on it. Uh, got a bead in it, you know. And this this was a brand new handle that I ordered. Off, actually ordered it off eBay, and it's got a hole in it. And and uh, so uh, good heavy duty axe or hatchet. You know, you could just about call this an axe. Uh, you can see, you can see a little difference in them. This one's a good bit lighter. I don't know what they weigh. I don't know the measurement or anything on them or anything. But uh, you know, if you don't have a hatchet or an axe and you and you go outdoors a lot, uh, you know, it's 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 a good tool to have. You know, even if you hike, you can get you a small one. Uh, Essie, Essie makes a, a small, small uh, hatchet. Uh, you can get on there and look at it. It's, it's, I, I picked them up. Eventually, I'll probably get one, but it, it would be perfect size for a backpack. You can slide it right in the side on the outside of your pack. Uh, be a perfect size for, for hiking. And then you could get yourself down to just one knife maybe. I always carry two knives, you know, but you could get yourself down where, you know, you don't have to have a bigger knife. You could use you could use an axe. Uh, like I said, this one would be good for a pack. This one would be better for, because it's heavier. This one would be better to keep in your vehicle in the toolbox or if you got a kit, you know, this one would be better. 
if you like if you got if you got a camper uh, it'd be better to to use as a as a camper or on the camper as a camping you know a camping axe it would be better for that just because of the weight of it uh, so you know even though this one's bigger still be a good size to camp not hiking hiking in but camping like camping in the camper car camping you know if you car camp this would be a good size to have you can you can put it in a you know little toolbox or a plastic tub if you want to you know if you want to carry a you know firewood with you and have it in a tub or make you a you know pretty good size fire kit put you some kindling some fat lighter uh fire starting stuff you can include this include you an axe uh, when i was in the scouts you know i still got a i still got a boy scout axe and it's it's about this size, maybe a little smaller, but it's about this size. So uh, I've got it, and I actually cleaned it up and kind of refurbished it, even though you know I had it for a long time. But I was in the scouts up till I was about 13, 12, 13, something like that. So you can still see the Boy Scout logo on it. So, like I said, a, an axe or a hatchet is is really a necessity for anybody that does a lot of stuff outdoors. And like I said, be careful, don't cut near your foot, don't cut near your knees, don't cut near your leg when you're chopping. Chop away, you know, chop, move to the side. Have good, positive control. You know, if you're using two hands, 